Welcome to this tutorial on building a full HTML page. Basically what we're going to be doing is using the principles that we've learned in the other tutorials to build a full page from scratch. So instead of using this random website we've been building, we're actually going to create a new one which is going to be somewhat more useful. Uh, we're going to design a sample page for an alarm clock company. Okay, So we're going to have an alarm clock company website page, uh, folder here on our desktop. <coughs> And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use Bluefish Web Editor, right? We always use Bluefish. It's such a joy. Um, and uh, Bluefish, by the way, is available for download free on the internet. So we're going to make an HTML page, okay? <clears throat> Remember, start HTML and end HTML. And we're going to save it uh, as index.html, the index file, the main page, with the file extension HTML, right? We're going to save it like that. Now, we're going to create the main, uh, the main content of the page, so we're going to add a head, right? We're going to add a head to the page, and we're going to add a body to the page, okay? In the head, we're going to add a title, <coughs> alarming, uh, alarm clocks by design, yeah, sure, and then, uh, we're gonna add we're gonna add some meta tags, right? Meta name equals description content equals <coughs> alarming is an alarm clock design company that okay, and we're gonna put on wrap that seeks to revolutionize the uh, alarm clock <laughs> design. I'm making this up as I go. <laughs> Seeks to revolutionize alarm clock design with alarming new engineering principles. Okay. So there's our uh, there's our first meta tag, right? Very good. Now our second one's going to be meta name equals keywords, and our content is going to be alarm. Alarm clock. Uh, yeah, we'll just do alarm clock design alarming engineering um, revolutionize. Yeah, that'll be good. So now we have our second meta tag there, which contains all our keywords for the page. Now we're going to move on down to the body. We're going to start by putting a, uh, a nice big header here. So we'll, we'll choose H2, I think, for the size. Remember, H, H2 and end H2 uh, creates a size. Alarming. And under underneath that, we're going to place a... Uh, this is going to be basically a tagline. So it's going to be in italics, right? Remember... Uh, uh, start I and end I for italics and uh, alarming alarm clocks now nah, let's let's actually change our tagline let's say alarming revolutionizing alarm clock design okay alarming revolutionizing alarm clock design okay let's go ahead and save that and take a look at what it looks like in our browser here okay so we're going to open file and I'm going to go to the desktop. I'm going to go to the desktop alarm clock company website. And why is this not working? Do we save that? Let's save it again. Come on. Let's just see if this is working. What is wrong with this? Did I forget to close a tag? Oh, I did. Take a look. See, my title tag never closed. That's why it's not. Uh, it's not. That's why it's not working here. Just make sure you close all your tags, otherwise it won't work. So there's a little. Le uh, there's a nice. Whoops! I just erased my body tag. There's a nice little lesson for you there. Uh, I made a mistake. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> okay. So now we have alarming, revolutionizing alarm clock design. 
and uh, now underneath that we're gonna uh, we're gonna make a nice uh, a nice little table for different uh, for different menu options. So I'm gonna go go ahead and create a table. Table border. We're gonna say uh, we're gonna add a border of zero, uh, and we're gonna add cell padding of ten and cell spacing of zero. Okay. So we're gonna end our table, and we're gonna add one table row. Okay one row to our table. So table row, TR, and then we're going to add, I think, four table cells. So TD for table cell, wherever they come up with that, I don't know. TD, table cell, TD, for table cell, TD for table cell. I'm just, this is like double think here. TD for table cell. <laughs> okay. In there, we're going to put <coughs> home about uh, by <laughs> careers and contact us. Now, nah, just we'll just put contact. Okay, so we'll save this and take a look at what it looks like. Okay, refresh, and now we have all these nice little pieces here, which are not clickable yet, but we're gonna make them clickable, right? So. I'm gonna put here a. Remember, we we use an a tag, right? Whoops. Yeah, we use an a tag. Start a and end a. We need to add some attributes to that a tag. A href equals, and we're not gonna make it direct anywhere now. We're not gonna build all these individual pages. So what we're gonna do is just use a little uh, number symbol like that. That'll redirect it nowhere. So let me just save this and show you how to do it. Okay. Refresh, and now it, it goes nowhere, right? So, uh, yep. So now we have a we have a link there though, right? So that's that's important and cool. So now we got to add links to the rest of these. Why don't we just why don't we just copy this, paste it here, and put about in there. Copy paste and put uh, by there. Copy paste and put uh, careers there. Copy paste and put uh, contact there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save this again and just view what's going on here. All right, so that that's looking okay so far. We have all our little links here, and now we're just going to uh, now we're just gonna uh, whoops we're gonna go into gonna go into here and we're, we're gonna actually add an iframe so what we're gonna have to do is create a new file so file new right and we're gonna create an HTML page remember start HTML end HTML and uh, we're gonna save this as we're gonna save this as well main dot HTML main dot HTML and uh, so we're gonna add a body we don't really need a head because we're not going to use any attributes for that. Uh, we're going to add a body and we're just going to put in some paragraphs into the body, okay? Um, alarming is an alarm clock design company that specializes in revolutionizing. Just making this up as I go again. Alarm clock design with alarming engineering principles. So let's let's add a new paragraph now. So P uh, start P and end P for new paragraph, and we're just going to put in here. Uh, let's see. We feature alarm clocks that do a variety of exciting things, including, and then uh, we'll just have a little list down here. So in our paragraph tag, I think we'll put it in there. We'll have an unordered list, UL and UL, <coughs> and then uh, some list items. LI, and LI, LI, including spraying water, okay. Uh, what else? Alarm clock, what else could an alarm clock do? Maybe, maybe uh, 
yanking off the covers. <laughs> Making this up as I go. Uh, another LI menu item. Mm. Launching sleeping individual. I heard Ben Franklin made a bed that did that for himself. I think that's insane, but okay. Uh, launching sleeping individuals and what else? What else could we do? How about uh, flashing bright lights? Basically these are nightmarish alarm clocks. So we're gonna go ahead and save this and we're gonna go back to our index page. See we got nice little tabs here. And we're going to put in an iframe. I'm just using iframes for the fun of it. Because uh, it will be cool with the little scroll thing. iframe source equals, and then uh, just main.html. It's in the same folder. Uh, width equals, we'll make the width 700. And height, or whoops, height equals 100. <coughs> okay. So we'll go ahead and save that. And we'll take a look. All right, this is cool. Might want to make uh, might want to make this a little taller. So we'll make the height 200. How about that? Let's go back here. See now it doesn't scroll, so that's not that cool. Uh, so we'll just we'll just make it at 150. I kind of like the scrolling effect. So. Just refresh, and there we go. We got that scrolling effect, and it's kind of cool. So we got all these little links up here that go to different places. We've got a nice title there, um, italicized text. Overall, it's a pretty cool little site. Uh, it's not as great as it could be yet, <laughs> because uh, we only we're only using HTML right now. Uh, to learn more design principles, we're going to want to use uh, CSS, which uh, is cascading style sheets. It's kind of a new thing, and that's how you get designs to look really, really cool. And uh, so, but anyway, we've, we've designed a pretty basic site here that would, frankly, work very well for a company. And uh, we've done it with just HTML. And, uh, and I hope we, uh, this has just helped to kind of... Uh, give you an, a better understanding of some basic principles of HTML. So, at any rate, at any rate, we will be con uh, hopefully I will continue to make some future tutorials that involve CSS, so you can uh, further hone your skills. And uh, this has just been a basic tutorial on creating a basic web page for a very strange alarm clock company that creates nightmarish alarm clocks in HTML. Thanks for watching. Cameron vs. Lewis over and out.